I'm Margaret M. Windsor. My title is Queen Victoria II. I was kidnapped in 41 and brought from Buckingham Palace and brought to Molson, Alabama, given the name of Peggy Ann Dempsey. I married a children. Peggy Ann Dempsey was a twin. Both twins were born in a different year than given me. The birth certificates just simply mark through because who's going to do anything about all this? I drew, they were killed by their mother. They were born out of wedlock. I was put in what would amount to be a pigsty to go up in with this woman who killed her twins and that family. It was like out of a horror script. That being said, I wrote a book in 77, 78. I'd worked for doctors about mind control and programming done by federal agency. Um, now then, um, I, on April the 1st, with a letter from the FBI that had been mailed to me of an ongoing investigation, it was mailed on June the 23rd of 79. I was given antifreeze April Fool Day of 80 and should have died. It was hell. And the fiasco in the hospitals that I can't sue because there's a gag order on it and because the media here will not print the truth. The Rockefellers, Rothschilds, my own uncle, George the Sixth, Elizabeth, has kept it up. Uh, Roosevelt and part of, uh, I mean, the presidents have known it. The Skull and Bones, uh, you know, Ronald Reagan is the same kin to me he is to Elizabeth. He slept in Buckingham Palace by her invite. I can't sleep in my own home. I can't use my name. So is Al Gore. Uh, now, I don't know anything about Al Gore, the vice president, but he's the same kin to me as he is to her, and I kind of hate to say that, you know, things being what they are. you got to be pretty cold to uh, have this smile on your face and enjoy your life when I've been treated like a pauper. And by the way, if I'm skipping around, forgive me. Um... She was invited here during the shootings at Virginia Tech. I live in Roanoke. It's in Blacksburg. Um, they're programmed. There's a bunch of others like the Fort Hood shooter. He's a psychiatrist. He finished college here at Virginia Tech. Uh, he was born in Benton, Roanoke, where I'm at. So there's a bunch of murders that have been done in patterns that the press will not print because it would lead you back to me and the Rockefellers, Rothschilds owning the media and shutting it up. And uh, the media has done it by choice to keep their jobs, whatever. But here's Elizabeth's smile on her face. They name their son, George, illegal monarchs, and look how sweet they look. I guess if you're living all in all the finery, getting all the good press, you're not living on top of uh, full heart knobs freezing and begging and starving and walking from here to there begging, I guess you can look this happy. Look at them. As I say, they had the gall to name him after his great-great-grandfather who helped kidnap me, Elizabeth's father. Uh, helped frame uh, his own brother and kidnap the monarch, his niece. Now then, I want to go to the Kennedys because Kennedy helped... Uh, Joseph Kennedy was ambassador during that time uh, and helped in my kidnapping, taking down my father. Now, I want to say here that um, um, this is, um, I, I don't know if you can see it, but I'll try showing it. This is October 31st of 63 when John Kennedy's signing a lot of money for mental health. Unless you get the whole picture to where programming and mind control has been used to program mass, mass you can do armies. Uh, how do you prove it to go out and commit crimes and look like they're, so you can go in and, uh, in other words, you start the crime and then you come in and make it look like somebody else did it, and you go in looking like the good guy. So um, mental health um, has taken the blame for people like um, Mrs. Russell Yates, Andrea, who drowned her children in Houston. 
back in 01. Uh, you've got, she's in mental health being treated for mental illness, which is the most preposterous. And your psychiatrist, if they can't tell the difference, and they can, something's bad and wrong, when they can't tell the difference in serial murders like um, John Hinckley Jr., uh, like the Aurora, Colorado, James Holmes, do you know what psychotic drugs do to a person who's not mentally ill? I mean, it's the sickest. He's a victim, first of all, of mind control. And the media knows it. In the Tucson, Arizona, now there's lists of them that I started telling about in the early 70s that have continued and they've been done in patterns. And I have paid a heavy price. I got in a campaign with Slonda Larry Flint in 83 prior to me finding out my real name and my kidnapping. Um, the one that shot him in Lawrenceville while I was doing a book in Marietta, Georgia, uh, was programmed. Uh, they put him in Butner and tortured him for telling the truth about the Bloomingdale's, and part of it may have been because I was there and he tried to help me. I don't know. But he was tortured, and his um, um, power of attorney was taken in from him, and he almost lost his uh, ability to live. So uh, don't tell me crime doesn't pay. It's paid these people all along. Now then, if I go back, and I'm redundant because I've tried to do this tape. This is about the fourth, fifth time. So I want to, want to make it short enough that it goes up. I'm trying to make sure I'm on here halfway right. Oh, uh, talking into it. I mentioned Condoleezza Rice, I believe, uh, from Alabama. She was uh, Secretary of State. Then guess who? She was under Bill Clinton and then Hillary Clinton under Obama is Secretary of State. Um, you're going to tell me none of these people know anything about me? <laughs> I guess again. They helped cover it up. They're part of the New World Order with Obama, Elizabeth. Obama's even on a tape made recently saying uh, the New World Order is in place. So there you go, people. But Hillary is now probably going to run for president. But these were heads of state, and last night on TV, I've forgotten the gentleman's name. I know it, but uh, there was this great piece uh, about Condi Rice being invited to a golf course, which previously I believe women weren't there. And she's one of the first, and they had her so coughed and so dressed riding around in the cart with the uh, CBS morning show host following her around uh, and telling about her, uh, making her seem like this great person. Um, she's from Alabama and she's never heard of me. Something's wrong with these people if they have it. I'm, the law's broken, not just my kidnapping and all of that, but in 1980, trying to kill me and shut me up. The, uh, antifreeze, oh, it was before then, the stuff. But then in 81 and 82, trying to kill me. <laughs> um, there was, um, all kinds of law enforcement that knew it. Uh, I'm going to say this, um, Shelby, Senator, um, yes, Senator Shelby from Alabama, uh, has to know it or something's wrong. Now then, don't let me forget the other man's name, Sessions. He's been in there a long time. He's from Alabama. He's a senator or a U.S. congressman. I mean, I think he's senator. He knows. You got Senator Sam Nunn from uh, Georgia. I think he was head of the intelligence. You have to know the head of these intelligence agencies too, that they uh, are over head up. Uh, he was um, next to the FBI office when I was going to his office was in seventy eight, seventy nine when I was doing the book, and I thought all this was happening because I was writing about mind control. It was because of my kidnapping and who I am. Um, so I don't know, I've kind of gotten lost between doing all the tapes. And I want to mention this, though. Elizabeth is illegal monarch. She has lived a, a life of luxury, going from castle to castle while I crawl on the side of the road. My son, who's illegal ass to me, they tried to really kill him at birth. And they did a job, but they didn't quite do it. He came out of it. 
uh, and I'm not going to put that on here, um, but um, I'll say this. Elizabeth is supposed to, she's illegal, but she represents the Church of England. She has been a traitor. She has knowledge, of course, of me and my kidnapping and what's happened. They paid her to come to Virginia, and um, she spoke at the uh, Virginia uh, Capitol. She went on to D.C. Uh, and had a banquet uh, given her by the Bushes. This is during the Virginia Tech, which is next door to Roanoke, to me, at Blacksburg, shootings, mass shootings, 33. And then there were others, a Fort Hood uh, psychiatrist, finished school at Blacksburg, Virginia Tech. He was born in Roanoke. And this is not just the patterns. They are like the Tucson, uh, Arizona, um, the Aurora, Colorado, all those that are getting the press. Uh, someone should, should ask, why is this happening and all that? And the press is putting it up there. I'm sure there are other murders that aren't connected with mind control. But anyway, uh, they're giving the press to Elizabeth and to her brood of illegals. My point is, she is um, renowned. Everybody seems to love her. Um, I've been hated and done in for trying to tell the truth about what happened to me, what the United States has done to the British, and what they've done to a lot of other people, but their own people they've done it to. So, um, I, you know, <laughs> what do I say? The other comparison, and then I guess I'll quit because I've done so many takes and had to uh, redo them. They're not going up. Um, the German bishop is suspended. This was in today's paper. It made it to the second page where uh, the baby, <laughs> Prince George and Kate and Elizabeth, were on in it three times on the front page. Anyway, he suspended because his resident renovations racked up $42 million, and the Pope calls for modesty. So um, my point being, this bishop is being suspended. You've got Elizabeth that's high on her horse. She's doing it all, and she doesn't mean to stop. Uh, who can stop her, I guess? Nobody wants to. I'm bringing God into this again, it sure would be nice. It seems he's the only one that can do it. But here is um, just a photo of the piece about the German bishop. Uh, he can't be extravagant in money and lifestyle, but this woman is illegal, and um, she should be in a world court as traitor and uh, numerous other charges that would take her down. Um, hey, but here's this one. Um, I guess that's what I was going to say, and uh, don't tell me that crime doesn't pay. I'm sitting here. I've had every law in the book broken against me. I don't know where my sons are. They never knew the truth. I really didn't see them after 80. Um, I hope they're alive and well. And they know that I love them.